When it came time to tear down the old house and build the new, keeping the pool was really important to us. Uh, it was, of course, a financial investment, but we had already built so many memories with that, and we wanted to continue to you know, have the swimming pool available for the family. So, um, so the pool was a big deal, and for us, we definitely, I think, had a hard time thinking about how um, the house could work, the new house, in relation to the pool. The old house, the garage used to sit behind the pool, and with the new building codes, the garage couldn't be located there anymore. But it was never an issue with partners in building. I mean, they knew uh, what to do. I, you know, with the pool, the architect sat down and was just really good about um, sort of building around the pool. And it actually turned into the most genius feature ever. <laughs> you know what he did with the pool? He put our master suite on the other side of the swimming pool. So that means we don't have a second floor above our master suite. That means we don't share a wall with our kids' bedrooms or anything like that. So we have our entire, you know, sort of section of the house that is separate from the rest of the house, which translates into peace Happy and quiet, privacy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we love it. In hindsight, probably the favorite, our favorite feature of the house is that we sort of have our own little wing. Yep. So it's beautiful. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. It turned out. Perfect. Yeah. I, we love having our uh, master suite on the opposite end of the house. We love the fact that it doesn't have a floor above it. And so, mm -hmm. again, it's not a mega mansion by any means, but we have our own quote unquote little wing. You got to at least walk down a 10 foot hallway before you get there and the kids are all upstairs on the other side of the house. So we love that.